Dan, I have swung the pendulum in your favor, and I expect you to handle this assignment without any flaws. Uh, will you let me have the report on my desk by noon tomorrow? Good. That's good. Good night, Dan. Oh, my darling. Well, come home, darling. How was it? Please. Very hectic. Very hectic indeed. But uh, I managed to survive it. Please slow down a little for my sake. Because I need you around for a very long time. I have the strength, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to remind you not to call me at this time when you know definitely I'll be by his side. I can't wait to have you all to myself. Oh, cut off the rhetorics. I have to go back to bed before he becomes suspicious. I'll see you in the morning. I definitely will see you in the morning. Mwah. Bye. What's wrong with you? Take it easy. Just take it easy. Let me let me <laughs> Hello, doctor. Hello, yes, doctor. Doctor, this is Mrs. Hammond, Joan Hammond. Oh, doctor. How is our master doing? Well, he's deeply asleep at the moment. And I believe by the time he wakes up, he will respond favorably to treatment. Thank God. Can you tell me what happened? We were in bed when he started complaining of stomach pains. That was when I called you. I will advise you guys go home and have some rest. He will be fine. That I can assure you. Mm? Can we please see him now? You can, but briefly. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. part of the agreement. How did you know I was here? <laughs> you shouldn't be doing this with my husband lying critically ill next door. Hey, don't worry. It's only a matter of time. Stanley comes home from the hospital in one piece. I don't want to lose him. But you've been strong till now. Aren't you the one who assured me he'll be fine when the doctor said so? It's been three days now. And there's no improvement. I know. But don't worry. Dad will be all right. And he will come home soon. 
You should eat because he won't like to come home and see you looking sick on his return. Your dad is one in a million. Who could that be? And Susan, I think. Did you call her? Why? I didn't want to get any of them worried, especially her. You know she's not too strong health-wise. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. It's okay. Let me get to her. Welcome, Aunt Susan. Oh, thank you, my dear. Aunt oh. Susan. How are you? Yeah, okay. And you, how's your health? Hmm. Oh, fine, please. Being diabetic doesn't mean I'm dying tomorrow. Not especially when I stick religiously to my treatment. What did the doctor say is wrong with Stanley? He has not told us anything which amounts to his improvement. I don't know what to do. I need to see him. From what Fiona said, it's not a pretty sight at all. It isn't. But we hope he gets better soon. Hey. Stanley is such a strong man. To know that he was crying in pain is unbelievable. Whatever is wrong is terribly wrong. I hope you've been going to school and not sitting at home as though the worst has happened. No, Dad. I even had a test yesterday. Remember you told me to start working hard for that first class honors. That's my girl. That's my girl. And how's the company? I hope the workers are not taking my absences or license for fooling around. Stanley, you worry too much. The company is fine. The workers want you back. Oh, aren't you going to ask how I'm doing, big brother? And Susan, don't tell me you're jealous. Dad, you should try to eat something. The nurse said you're not eating. I'm trying, but it's so difficult. I made your favorite porridge. I hope you make an effort to eat it. Stanley, we need you home, but you need to try harder. My stomach. Dad, are you okay? Oh, you yeah. mm. Stanley. Oh, my God, Stanley. Dad. Call the nurse, call the nurse. Call the nurse. Stanley, are you okay? Stanley, my God. They're never here when you want them. Mm. Take it easy, Stanley. What is the cause of all this, Doctor? He's in so much pain. Mm -hmm. There's no cause for alarm, madam. What you saw was a reaction to the drugs that we administered on him. He'll be all right. Whatever is wrong with Stanley is getting worse. He's in so much pain and discomfort. Please, doctor, do something to help him. I understand your fears, but be rest assured that your husband is in safe hands and he'll soon be on his feet, okay? I'm sure his business opponents are celebrating by now. Who knows? Someone might be using juju on him. Madam, superstition doesn't have a role in uh, medical science. But it's taking too long. <laughs> and the money involved is not a laughing matter. And Susan, we shouldn't be talking about how much is involved in my father regaining his health. It kills me to see him in so much pain. Ah. Be strong, Mrs. Hammond, so that you don't fall ill by the time your husband is well. Then make him well and do it quickly. <laughs> no problem. Excuse me. Excuse me. You don't rush into people's homes like that. Who are you looking for? I ask again and I deserve an answer. Who are you looking for? God. Go in there and tell your mother I'm waiting for her. Hmm? And while you're at it, maybe some pineapple juice. Uh, I need something to quench my thirst. I like pineapple. Go. 
Run along, my dear, go. Madam, please, there's a man downstairs he wants to see you. And why that look on your face? The man is too rude, madam. He wouldn't greet. He won't say who he's looking for until he sat down comfortably and ordered for a glass of juice. Who the devil is that idiot? What are you doing here? Big sister, haven't you missed me? Well, I have missed you. And you, did I not tell you to get me some juice? Run along, I'm thirsty. Don't start those sarcastic remarks with me. What are you doing here? I thought we both agreed that you would stay out till it was convenient. Well, 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 well. I only came to find out how my brother-in-law is doing. Leave this very minute, Philip. Do you want to spoil everything I have worked so hard for? Don't be too harsh. You have always been composed, Joe. Don't mess up your hair. I need some money. What for? I hope you didn't come to be a pest in my life. Mm -hmm. Now, what has Tommy done to you to make you so hostile? I am so scared, Philip. He is in so much pain. I feel guilty. You don't have to cry, my dear. You see? Very soon all this will be over. Just look at the light at the end of the tunnel. Hmm? You get exactly what you deserve. What's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca, Rebecca. Well, not a bad name for a housemaid. Um, get a guest room prepared for me, huh? I need fresh scented air freshness in the room, huh? I need things natural. Run along, dear. Go, fix me the guest room. Go to your room, Rebecca. I'll handle this. Yes, madam. Philip, you will live this very minute. I will get you some money and you will disappear. Understood, little brother? Well, uh... <clears throat> If the money is good, why not? Don't get on my nerves. You are who you are because you know me. Run along, my dear. I need some money. Ta ta. <laughs> nice one, dear. Oops. Big sister. <laughs> Yesterday, Madame's brother was in this house. And you should have been here to see how nasty the guy behaved. That's strange. I don't know him. He's such a brat. He asked for my name and ordered that the guest room be prepared for him. Imagine. <laughs> he definitely has guts. 
And Joanna said nothing. She drove the arrogant brat out of the house. Out? You definitely hate him. I do. If I were the elder sister, I would lay him flat on the table and smack his ass. And then drive him out of the house. Not nicely, but like the brat that he is. Good morning, madam. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Please, should I set the table for your breakfast? No, thank you. But put some water on the stove uh, for porridge for daddy. All right. Good morning, mom. Good morning, dear. Hope you slept well. I slept better knowing that dad will be returning home soon. We can now take some food to him and perhaps he might come home next week. Wonderful. Oh, I've missed dad so much. I am more excited than anyone else. My cherished husband is coming home. Oh, I see the whole house is here to see me. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Peter. Good morning, sir. Good morning, um, Rebecca. How are you doing, my darling? Oh, much better. Much better. You look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Dad, it's good to see you looking up and active again. And uh, when will my sister give me a, a well-deserved hug? I thought you weren't going to ask. Oh, your enemies have been conquered. <laughs> oh, that's not a laughing matter. It's a serious case. Susan, when will you stop this superstitious belief that sicknesses are caused by a man's enemies? There is more to earthly happenings than meet the ordinary eye. Oh, yes. Well, it's good to have you all again. Thank you. Ah. Your favorite. Thank you. I'm, I miss your porridge so much. Take as much as you can, okay? I'm so glad you're coming home with us soon. And that is victory over our enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> back. I want my husband back to me where he belongs. We all know that, madam. But Master is dead and there's nothing we can do to bring him back to life. Please, you are the living. You need to eat to live on. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to live anymore. Stanley didn't deserve to die. He didn't deserve it. Yes, I know. But you need to be strong. 
It's not for anything for Fiona. Please. Let me check with Santa too. Rebecca, please take Philip's things upstairs to the guest room and make it up for him. Hey, um, and while you're at it, okay, you know how I like my room. It's very fresh and natural. Spread it with some good fragrance, okay? Don't mess it up. I'll run along. That's it. Careful, careful with the bag. I'll see you later, Philip. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why? Aren't you going to keep me company for a while? Very well. We'll talk later then. Ta-da! My own house. Fiona, meet my brother Philip. He's been in London all these years. Philip, Fiona, my stepdaughter. How do you do? How do you do too? Rebecca. Yes, sir. You have already met Philip. He will be staying with us for a while. Until he finds his feet in town. You're welcome. Don't mess things up for us. Oh, you bet I won't. <laughs> Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, Mr. Philip. No, Mr. Philip. What is this yes, yes you see in this house? Mr. Philip, what can I do for you? That's what I'm talking about. You see this bread here? It's not working for me. It's too hard and I can't swallow it. My throat. I have to take good care of it. So, I need some pancakes. Huh? Something better than this. Uh, see, in London we have varieties here. You have nothing. Sorry, Mr. Philip. We don't have pancakes in this house. This is all we have. If you can't swallow the bread, then drink only the tea. And what is that supposed to mean? Rebecca! Uh, where are the people in this house? Oh, Auntie Sue. Uh, Hello. Auntie. You're welcome. Thank you. Where are... Uh, where is Joanna and uh, Phil? They're upstairs, my in their room. And 
Who is this young man who seems to have no manners? He's Madame's brother. Auntie, please, do you care for anything? It's okay, dear. I believe you came from a home where you should have been taught to greet elders when you see them. Well, pardon me then, madam. Good morning. I'm Philip, brother of Joanna, who's the madam of this house. And you? <laughs> you must be Mrs. Susan, um, sister to my late brother-in-law. And how come we never knew Joanna had a younger brother? Oh, you see, I've been in London all these years. I only came back a while ago, and I, I, I'm at the loss in the family. Please, accept my condolences. That's okay. My husband is in London as well. Actually, he's been there for over five years now. <laughs> what are you doing here? Go, go and visit him. Stanley promised to help, but... Auntie! Oh. You're welcome. Thank you, dear. How are you feeling? Well, I'm okay. Praise God. Ah. Um, I see you've met my brother, Philip. Yes, I have. And how come you never made mention of the fact that you had a brother? Um, I didn't mention Philip because he was becoming notorious. And I had to take him out of my life. But now that he has turned a new leaf, I had to let him back in. <laughs> you see, my sister and I went actually close. You know, I've been in London all these years. She wanted me to come down and get married, but you know, I'm a young man. I need to get around a bit. You know, the world was my oyster then. I, I had to have some fun. So, you know. I see. Well, auntie, aren't you thinking anything? Rebecca. That saucy one. Oh, yes, she is. Rebecca. Yeah. I am glad to see you are patiently waiting for me. Did you close that door? Now stop the big sister act. Look, I did, and there's nobody watching. I miss you so much. I called you here to talk, Philip. You're not helping matters. Do you want to blow away everything? Of course not. I act the way I act to avoid suspicion, you know. Then your brain is playing a trick on you if you think you're doing the right thing. So much has happened so fast. Please don't spoil everything. Baby, I won't. You better. Susan is a very curious person. She's been snooping around and I don't like it. She seems to have noticed your crazy stance. And it's not going down well with her at all. See, that woman is something else. She's like a witch or something. When she looks at me, she's like she can practically see through my skin. I don't know what to do with her. Leave her to me. I'll look into my crafty bag and give you a clue. So much has happened so fast. It's getting too much for me. Oh, baby. <laughs> I hear tomorrow your late husband's will be red. Yes. Oh, you're gonna be rich. You're gonna have lots of money. Mm. You see, I'm right here with you, just the two of us, huh? What do you say to that? That's beautiful. I miss you, baby. I. I'm all yours. I can't imagine he left you with peanuts after all you did for him. Leave my room, Philip. And what was he thinking with that stupid clause that you get more when you give him a child? That is pure crap. Pure crap, I say. And you, you were supposed to ensure that he left you with valuable money. I don't want to talk about this. Please leave me alone. Wake up! 
This is all the time you sit down all sorrowful by yourself and looking into space. You need to think. We need to devise a new plan. I said, leave me alone. I want to be alone. Leave me alone. You cannot <laughs> You can't go down like this, huh? Think. You have to work you with your better. own hands. You have to work with your own hands. And stop playing this game. Stop playing this game. Stop playing this game. You win on we. Mr. Philip, if I may ask, what are you looking for so seriously in master's study? Well, um, I'm looking for some poems. <laughs> so, master's study has now become a library for poetry. Rebecca, you watch your tone of voice when you talk to me, okay? Who do you think you are in this house to talk to me like that? And you keep your itchy fingers from master's documents. I warn you, Rebecca. Mind your words. <laughs> Did you see that, Mr. Peters? Auntie Susan, feel me. Madame's brother is not to be trusted. He's a thief. What do you mean by that? I caught him right-handed in master's study, going through his document. And all he said was he was looking for poetry. Hmm. Poetry in master's study indeed. Oh, I had my suspicions. Look, I am still not convinced that Philip is Joanna's brother. Stanley would have introduced him to me. Moreover, Joanna told me she lost her family in an auto accident. How come this brother of hers survived and was never revealed till now? There must be an explanation. Maybe he's her stepbrother or something. I think we should give them a benefit of doubt. Fiona, you're too unsuspecting. Ever since your father left us, all you've done is sit in your room and act like you don't live here. So many things are happening under this same roof that goes unnoticed by you. My dear. This is your house. And I will not let anyone reap where they've not sown. God knows. Your mother deserves to be here by now. Don't tell me you don't like Joanna. You and her are close. Being close to someone doesn't mean you should close your eyes to her faults. I wish Fiona had your blood, auntie. Sometimes I think we suspect unnecessarily. Joanna is a good woman and she has done nothing wrong. Maybe Philip is a bad egg, but Joanna is not. I have been with her for a long time and I know what I'm talking about. I'll be watching them closely from now on. There's more to them than meets the eye. Oh yes. Auntie, you've been wonderful to us since we lost Stanley. You don't need to. Stanley was my brother. Well... I realize that you've always had a dream Stanley would have helped you achieve if he was alive. Here, traveling documents to meet your husband in London. What? Oh my God. Thank you so much. This is overwhelming. I'm Stephen. What's the matter? Joanna has finally made my dream come true. I'm going to be with my husband after so many years. That's so nice. Thank you, Mom. Oh, she deserves oh. it. Oh, oh God. And 
Where are you coming from, young lady? I went to get some things at the supermarket. Best time to go do that shopping. My God. If your father was... I'm there, sorry. Excuse us. So what? Am I now going to be interrogated by my big sister? Don't mess with me, Philip. Why did you take Fiona? I get a grip of yourself and stop harassing me. Look, what is the fuss about our company here to the market? Hey, you, don't you think you're overreacting? Overreacting? Look, you get a hold of that sip of yours, Philip. If you have anything to do with that little girl, I will make life so unbearable for you. She's just a, a child, so keep off. Now, will you stop ordering me as if I was a small boy? This boss attitude of yours is getting on my nerves. Show your head at the right time, and I won't have to bring out those ugly sides of mine. Watch these bad attitudes, I tell you. Else? You dare me. I dare you. You dare me. I dare you. You... Please, please, please. No, no, please. Oh, darling, please. Don't say that. I just want to be with you. That's why I'm jumping at this offer placed before me. But I thought you had always wanted me to come. Now I have my visa and a free ticket. Look, I am coming and you are not going to stop me. No way. So why did you decide to take me out? Well, I didn't think a pretty damn star like you should be locked up all the time, like my sister does. She's not locking me up. I just feel like being at home most of the time. Remember, I'll soon go back to school. Sweet princess. I think you should go out from time to time. <laughs> well, since my dad left us, there's been no need for any special outings. It only ends up depressing me. We can leave if that bothers you. No, 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 not at all. I'm, I'm fine, really. Mom! Don't mom me. What are you doing here with Philip? He just offered to take me out. Moreover, it's not dark, so I didn't say anything wrong with it. Yet, you failed to inform me. But he's your brother, my step-uncle. Fiona, Fiona. Stop calling me uncle. It makes me feel old. Shut up, Philip! I... I've had it up to here with you. If you don't respect me and can't stand this, then you have no business here. Now what the hell is wrong with you? Fiona, get to the car. Why are you doing this to me? Why? This is not a plan. But lately, everything I do seems wrong to you. And I can't take it any longer. I'm damn tired and fed up with you. What is all this rubbish you keep doing all the time? Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, you think this will make it any better? I don't know what you have to. It seems you fell in love with Stanley and now you don't know how to control yourself. Lately, I haven't been myself. And my conscience wouldn't let me be either, Philip. Donna, you need to move on. Because all this that you did here, the whole thing here in this restaurant right now is tearing us apart. Philip, you know I love you. I'm here because of you. Please don't hurt me anymore. Get a hold of yourself. Look, I'll talk to you later. Philip, Philip, please. Philip, Philip. Philip treating me this way. After everything I've done for him. After everything we've been through. Why? Philip, why? Good morning, Joanna. I want you to meet Mr. Stanley Hammond. 
He's the chief executive officer of Stanley's Holding. Remember the company? Of course I do, ma'am. Well, Mr. Hammond, meet Joanna, the lady who helps solve your tax problem. Joanna, I am delighted to meet you. I am extremely grateful you saved my company. You're welcome, sir. I am glad to have been of help. All right. Let's leave Joanna to work. Yes. I'll see you later. Bye, sir. I'm very honored for having you here. Well, I came to say thank you personally and to show a token of my appreciation. Well, sir, I was just doing my job. Oh, do call me Stanley. Please accept this as a token of my company. I would be delighted if you would join me for dinner somewhere, wherever it is that you choose. Philip. Good morning. Oh, good morning, young man. Uh, well, sorry for my interruption. I, I only came to see my cousin. Um, I wouldn't take much of your time. All right, then. I'll see you later. What was the meaning of all that? Why did you introduce yourself as my cousin? <laughs> Let's talk about this at home. This is your office and we can't discuss any business here. Anyway, can I have some money for the trip? We better talk. Sure. Why did you call me your cousin when Mr. Hammond was in my office? I was going to get to that, but if you want to talk about it, let's go ahead. Jonah, life is not going on as planned. It is not getting any better. I can't get a job and our condition is terrible. And this is not a fairy tale life that I have always dreamt for us. Life is not a fairy tale. Bad will come, but with hard work and love, we will conquer things. With brains and skills, we will conquer. What are you talking about? That one asks you out for a date. I want you to accept it. Of course not. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Our lives here, in this place, that's really close. Joanna, you are a princess and must be treated as such. I can't treat you as such without money. Philip, I am not complaining. I love you. And that's all that matters. You give me satisfaction. What more could I ask for? Sex is not the only satisfaction you need. Look. That man is rich. He has lots of money. He will make you happy with the money. I won't do it. See, just marry him for a while. And then we elope with his money uh, for a better life. If you get a job, we will live the better life we've always dreamt of. Even if not exact, close to. Do you know how long it will take me to work so that we will be financially independent? It doesn't matter. We will endure. Start using your brains here, Joanna. We have the opportunity to be rich in less than a year. We must grab it. I won't sell myself for money. Nobody here is saying you should do that. Just marry him and the rest won't unravel. Why are we having this discussion? The man just asked for a date. Simple. He wants more. I saw the look in his eyes. He couldn't keep his eyes off you. He needs you. This is an opportunity we must not miss. 
this opportunity will make you rich it will make us rich listen Joanna do this if you love me you can't go down like this thank huh? you you deserve better From what you've told me, you've been making a great mistake. You can't treat Joanna like that after all that she's done for you. She's virtually sacrificed everything for you. I'm no longer interested, Felix. Listen, she's growing old and it's beginning to show all over her face. That is not true. Tell me you need an excuse to go after her stepdaughter. An excuse? I don't need one. I'm justified. That girl, Fiona, she's got billions. Let me tell you a secret. You see, the old man left nothing for Joanna. Trust me, she only has a house and a couple of thousands. He willed everything to his daughter. She has billions of cities. But he still told me you love Joanna. History. That's all in the past. You must know me by now. I want to move on. I need to move on. Look, with her thousands, I can't move on. With her billions, that's what I call safety. The girl in question is now entering the university. She's not ready for marriage. <laughs> She's ready for grooming. I want her. Trust me, I'll have her. Have you thought about the fact that she has a mind on her own? That she might not love you as you think, not as Joanna does? Now you're virtually undermining my intelligence. How can a woman reject me? I have women crawling on the floor for me all the time, losing properties over me. Look, give me three years. She will love me, and I'll marry her. <laughs> well, whatever it is, just make sure you don't despise Joanna. You know she can blow your cover anytime. Whatever you say, I have nothing to lose. Oh. you. Baby, I'm sorry I overreacted, okay? All this thing is beginning to get to me as well. You don't need to explain. I understand. I was just afraid that you leave me. And honestly, I don't know what I would do. Maybe I'll never leave you. I love you so much. Remember? Join and Philip forever. Yes. Forever. Did anyone see you come in? Everybody's asleep. That's favorite. Are you going to fulfill it, right? Yes, of course I'm going to fulfill it. Now you could have a trip to uh, your Buddha Mountains in Calabar. Calabar? Dad, why do you go to Castle Ranch? Look, they have beautiful mountain ranges, mm -hmm. horses, mm -hmm. cattle. Mm -hmm. They have absolutely everything that you 
Wow. I'm already fascinated. Can I bring a friend? Of course. You can bring a friend with you. Now, you can take um, Diana. That's right, Diana. Take Diana. Oh, thank you, Dad. You're the best in the world. And I am going to be around for a very long time. You bring me the first, last, others, and we'll be in business. Okay. Are you sure you can handle it? Of course, I can handle this. Thanks, Dad. You said you'd be here for me. Yet. I'm all alone. <laughs> you said you stand by me. Yet. I'm standing alone. I miss you so much, Dad. Best class honors, huh? Even if I do make it, you won't be here. But I know you'll be here in spirit. There you are. I've been searching for you all over the place. This damn house is too big. I almost got lost. Why are you looking for me? Ta-da! I got to the princess of the house a special gift, and I hope she likes it. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. You also know that means I'm thinking of you, right? Hmm. Yeah. I'm not really in a good mood, so I appreciate if you would excuse me. Oh, baby. I'm, I'm so sorry you feel this way. See, if you need a shoulder to cry on, one ear to listen to you. You know who to call, right? I'll be right here for you. I know. But I don't feel it. But thanks for the offer. Well, in that case, I'll leave you alone. But if you change your mind, you know what to do. Philip! And I'll be here for you. Okay. <laughs> I'd be surprised by your comments. Guy is not whom he claims to be. Haven't you noticed how he walks in and out of Madame's bedroom like his own? Especially at night? Rebecca, he is her brother. Haven't you seen some very close siblings? Just because you hate him doesn't mean he's that terrible. And just because he's nice to you and trying to make you like him doesn't make him a good man either. This is your father's house, yet you're absent to everything that goes on in here. This is your house now, and though you're young, you should be able to stamp your feet of authority. <laughs> she is my stepmother. And she's in charge of that. I don't need to go about flaunting that this is my house. She's my mother. And I have to respect her. Fiona. Fiona. All is not as it seems. Rebecca is a witch. We have to send her out of the house. That girl is bent on telling on us. What do you mean? She's been watching us closely, and I overheard her trying to convince Fiona to do the same. And what did Fiona say? Well, she only said she trusts and respects you, that's all. Fiona is a good girl. With her around, I don't have any worries. But Rebecca is very nosy. But she can't really do anything. She's just assuming things. Prevention, they say, is better than cure. Guess who decided to spy on us? Rebecca!
Rebecca! What were you doing there? Madam, I... I was... I was... Closer, closer, closer! So I can hear you better. I was passing and my aunt hit the door, so... I was trying to attend to it. So it means everything that Philip says was true? No, 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 Mama. It was... he was lying. I... I didn't convince Fiona to... to do anything. If you were not eavesdropping, how did you hear that? Madam, please. Please, I'm sorry. It will never happen again. Please. Never happen again? again. In this house, you are swearing it will never happen again. Pack your things and get out of this house. Who, who are you pleading? Get out! If I hear a word from you, I will personally skin you alive. Now go pack your things. I'm coming to give you some money and you will leave immediately. You will never help me again. Please. Now go! Have you seen Rebecca? I've checked everywhere, but she's nowhere to be found. I went to her quarters, but her things are gone. Do you know where she may be? She has left the house, little one. Left the house? Without informing me. Why? What happened? She said her mother wanted her. That's all that she told me. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Swings again. Where are you coming from? What? I want to see some of my friends. But do you need names and addresses as well? What do you want with Fiona? So now that she's gone back to school, you decided to take your love pursuits there as well? You see, whatever happens between Fiona and I is not important. It is you that I care about. Do I look like a kid? Don't lie to me. What do you want from that little girl? Haven't I given you everything? No, no, listen, okay. Stop, stop all this fuss. It doesn't matter. It is you that I'm with now. Stop working yourself up over this issue. You're a bastard, Philip. You think you can mess me up after everything I've done for you? Now you damn right shut up about what you have done for me. I brought the idea. But who ended up with the VAT bank account? Who ended up with the house? You did. Now tell me, who is lucky? So it's all about the money. Fine. You take it. I give it all to you. I don't want it. All I want is for us to be together again. To do the things we plan. Like get married. Joanna, Joanna, Joanna. No, hey. I, I can't marry you. Did I hear you right? You had me right. I can't marry you. Listen, listen. If this is one of your pranks, please. I'm not in the mood for it, so put it aside, okay? I have never been more serious, okay? I mean, how do you expect me to marry you? You're five years older than me and you're all wrinkled. I don't want your... You maggot! How dare you insult me? Weren't you the one who said age wasn't a barrier? You said you loved me! And I gave you my all. I sacrificed everything for you. <laughs> Joanna, Joanna, you should know me by now. See, 
My name is Philip, and I am an opportunist. Right now, Fiona is an opportunity, and I want to let her pass me by. So you're leaving me because of money? You were using me all along for your own selfish intents? Joanna, life is not fair. You see, I see our time together as um, a bus ride to a destination. I have gotten to my destination, so for me the bus ride is over. I've moved on to another bus. You take care. I will make life miserable for you. I swear! I will not make you live to take that money. I will make you pay! Oh. It's a promise! Get a cold on yourself. Listen, stop behaving like a baby. Take care of some integrity. Yeah, I don't want you anymore, that's all. Gee. Out of my house. Now. To her. See reality check. This house is not your house. It's Fiona's. And don't worry. I've been meaning to move out of this house a long time ago. Let me just go get my things, okay? And oh. Meanwhile, Fiona and I. Hopes. Look, and you have no idea how it feels like to pretend you're in love. Man, you are heartless. After all that she's done for you, man, that woman went through hell for you. She was virtually at your beck and call. And so? Is she the first? Look, I am tired. I deserve better. At least treat her with some respect. She has made you who you are today. Why is it everybody keeps screaming at me as if I am to blame? Who has the money here? She is the one with a fat bank account and her name to it. Do I have something like that? No. So what is wrong if I want to have my own? I want to have an account with my name on it. I can only do that with Fiona. Okay? I deserve better. So how sure are you that Fiona will fall for you? I'm working seriously on that. Come on, tell me, Philip. So all this while you were with Joan, you never had a feeling for her? See, I, I used to like her. At a certain point in time, I was actually in love with her. But would, would I want to sacrifice all this happiness because I was in love with her? Are the millions not enough? Compare that to billions. Billions. Well, my brother, you are looking too far. Be careful, else you will lose everything. I started this game, and I'll end it. You still haven't told me what's going on between Philip and yourself. I hope I won't be taken by surprise. I'm not really interested in the relationship. Oh, spare me that gospel. You light up any time you see him, yet you're not ready for a relationship. At least tell me the truth. You want him. No, Dinah, I don't. <sighs> he seems to be trying too hard. All he talks about is he can't wait for us to get married, when we're not even in a relationship. I'm really surprised at you. So many girls would be glad to hear that from a guy. It shows he's serious and not just in for a short-term affair. Dinah, I'm not longing to get married now, nor in three years' time. I have a lot to think about and a lot of responsibilities to deal with. Besides, he might not even be genuine. What makes you think so? Rebecca had some opinions that I mustn't overlook. Sometimes I wonder if her disappearance from the house wasn't due to that. Rebecca, why are you not taking her opinion of him? As far as I am concerned, Fiona, you're just insecure. I don't think so. Something is just telling me to be careful. Mm. I don't even know him and I could be entering a drastic situation. However, I'm too young to bug my mind over Philip, okay? Well, if you don't want him, let me know. I'm very much interested. <laughs> don't worry, it'll be all yours very soon, okay? Mm. Don't forget.
forget the project she left in the room. Electro wants it on his table by Friday. Oh my god, it's not even the room. I left it at home. Now I have to make the trip home. Can you come with me? I'm sorry, girl. I have some work to do. Besides, I don't want to spoil an intimate meeting with you. Feel it in yourself. <laughs> so <laughs> annoying. Let's go. <laughs> Juana, get a hold of yourself. There's nothing more to discuss, okay? There's nothing to talk to you about again. Please don't leave. <laughs> Please don't go. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll give you anything you want. Now, now stop behaving like a kid. Can't you get it through your head? I see a brighter future which I'm heading towards. And you're not part of the future. You belong to the past. Why are you doing this to me? Look, I am sorry, Joanna. But you don't deserve me any longer. Never good enough for you. I did everything you asked me to. I picked you up from nowhere. With no money, no family, no friends, and no one to call your own. I made you the man you are today. The man who could treat me this way. I was ready to give up my very life for you. Yet, I was not good enough. You come on to me, I was in the game. But I wasn't the one playing it. I was the one who <coughs> played. <sighs> you forced me to marry Stanley. Get me a glass of water. I thought it was for the best. No, me. You were having the fun of your life, waiting for me to do the job. I, I care about you. Oh, shut up. I don't want you to say a word. You taught me how to get rid of stuff, remember? And I followed instructions to the very last letter. And I wanted his death quickened. So I put in a double dose of the poison in the porridge I took to the hospital. I did all this for love. So nobody should judge me. I was madly in love with you. You're still in love with me. I said shut up, not a word from you.
can't afford to be caught. So I can't leave any witnesses. I... I'm sorry you're caught in this mess. Measure. You don't deserve to live too. It's a good thing my husband insisted I stayed back home. Who would have taken care of you? I guess no one is bigger than any situation. I'm still in shock that a woman I called my mother could do this to me. Can anyone be trusted? Such is life, my dear. You all said I was too suspicious. Too superstitious.